It was a tough job, but we finally have Morello where we want him. Now one last step remains, eliminate him. In his sections of the city, there's theft, robbery, blackmail, illegal lotteries, gaming rooms, and whorehouses appearing all the time. But what's the biggest problem? Drugs? Horseshit. The problem is that we don't get a cent out of it. That'll change as soon as we get rid of Morello. His organization will collapse, and all those small-time cheats, thieves, and criminals will kill each other without anybody over there to maintain order. Today, we can finally remove that bastard once and for all. Paulie has come up with a plan. That's right. What my informants tell me, we have one chance to get this guy. Merlo watches his back and almost never shows himself in public. He goes everywhere in his bulletproof limo, clammed up like some seashell. But today, he's coming out. He's going to the theater to do some socializing with the creme de la creme of Lost Heaven. And we'll be there to show him something, too. Isn't this a bit risky? It's risky, but this is our only opportunity to waste him in public and show everyone our power. We'll do it like this. Wait in front of the building until the end of the show. People will start coming out, so there'll be a lot of confusion. With Morello trying to make his way out, his gorillas won't have much of a chance to notice us before we hit him. Make sure you don't draw any attention to yourselves, so no shooting. Pull your weapons when you see him. I hope I still recognize him. Shouldn't be hard. Merle likes to wear his white suits. Not many people wear them these days. Each of you get a Thompson or Lupara from Vincenzo. Wait out in front of the theater on Central Island until Morello comes out. Then go to it. The performance ends at 9 o'clock, so make sure you're there on time. It should work out fine, so don't come back without his head. Okay, boss. Let's get to it. Vincenzo, today we need some real heavy artillery. We're gonna rub out Morello. Well, I think 600 shots per minute from an old Tommy gun should do the trick. At the same time, we could stick to the ancient ways and use a more traditional Sicilian weapon for a job of this size.
brake! Hit the brake! Think he's dead? Well, I guess so, yeah. Oh, Christ. Well, he's definitely dead now. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Hey, Tommy. Hey, you got anything for me today? Well, today was uh, a little rough. How come? Ah, uh, you know, the guys left the car here that was involved in a chase with the cops, and uh, I kind of need to get it out of here fast. Why didn't they dump it themselves? Oh, uh, well, we had a deal worked out with them, but uh, it was meant to be a sure thing, and it didn't work out. They were a little pissed, so they left it here. What's in it for me? A lovely German sports car. That's worth the risk. I'll do it. What can I do? That's eh, pretty simple. Take the car to the cliffs outside of town and dump it in the sea. Cool. But if the coppers spot you, there'll be trouble, so you gotta shake them. Okay. the car. That guy came in for it a while ago and drove off. But he said he was going for dinner at Roy's Grill. It's downtown. It's just a little way from Pepe's restaurant. Hey, if you hurry, you'll still find a car there. What's going on? Today's customer appreciation day? This one's an exception. He owes me big time. I did a bunch of jobs for him and I haven't seen dollar one. God knows what he does, but at the same time, he acts like a classy guy. Now, this way, he pays his debts and I pay my debt to you. Now, you better get going. Right, thanks. Police! Stop this! Get away with it! 